Hello, I'm going to talk about the, the page tracking and uh, download statistics requirement now for the Dukesfield project. The Dukesfield project already has a YouTube and Google account. Um, so we've, we've basically created, a, created a, an analytics account within Google as well to track, to track site usage. Uh, Google Analytics is extremely powerful. Um, you can take the, the, the features of this to, to, the, to the nth degree. Um, in order to gain access to the Google Analytics, you basically go into this URL here and, um, and, and logged in as, as the, the Dukesfield Google account. It's possible in the admin area to add additional users. Um, so that other people with Google accounts can also log in with various permissions. Um, there are all sorts of filters and, uh, and goal tracking um, features within this. At its simplest level you can track page views or sessions, um, sessions being unique uh, user kind of uh, uh, session visits. And as you can see, even though we're not live yet, there's been quite a bit of activity on the site uh, so since we put the we put the tracking code in. Um, and then you've got the the actual kind of most popular pages here. Obviously, the home page is is, is almost always likely to show at the top. Um, Dukesfield Documents has been pretty pretty active as well. And the other pages are listed there. You can get a full view. Like I say, you can filter um, and look at uh, look at the user demographics, um, all sorts of all sorts of things uh, on on here. So you've got, like I say, you've got the demographics and interest, geolocation of your users, um, etc. You also get real time stats as well. Um, so if we go to the real time overview. Uh, that just dropped. That's just dropped off. Um, so right now there's no users. But if I go and stuff there, if I go and refresh this page just to wake it up, today uh, two users on the site. Um, the geolocation is is not that accurate. You probably it's probably accurate by country. Um, within the country it's, it's a bit arbitrary this is it's kind of probably got me there um, the other user could well be could well be located in the northeast as well so we'll sh I'll show you how to do the um, how to look at the download tracking tracking downloads isn't isn't as as trivial as you might imagine, it, it tracks page views, um, and when you actually tr track a download, we have to track the the fact that the the users clicked uh, or selected this this document. The actual download of the PDF itself isn't isn't individually tracked. So if the user cancels it, um, we won't know. We we basically have to track. The, the interaction where they have the intention of downloading it and assume that that's that's been completed. Um, so to view the downloads, we're looking at events in the real time tracking, and when a user uh, clicks one of these automatically inserted PDF or, or other document uploads. Um, that that is tracked, and the the URL of the document is tracked. So it opens in a new tab um, for that user, or they may have downloaded it. But either way, we get a, a tracked event here of a download, and um, that was the document there downloaded was the TNA uh, Exchequer Court Blackett versus Tempest document. And that's uh, that's that's tracked in real time, and also it's tracked in. Although this won't show up because I've only added this today in the uh, behaviour events section. Um, the non-real time aspects of the of Google Analytics tends to be one day behind, so um, we'll we'll see these we'll see this this data appear tomorrow um, in terms of the number of downloads. But you get a list, a graph of 
number of downloads, the breakdown, you'll be able to filter which particular documents are downloaded the most, for example. In terms of the setup for Google Analytics, should this ever need to change um, in the administration area, we have an advanced section where snippets of code can be inserted. So if we navigate to that, my internet's slow today, and go to Dukesfield advanced here we have header scripts this is the this is the code that does the that does the google analytics tracking and um, that needs to be in place uh, at all times and if google announces that it's, this code needs to change that's the place where you would you would edit it as per their instructions thank you